bacon. Oh my god. There's bacon. They got somebody. You know what's funny? I could go over there right now and pop. On November 8th, 2016, Anthony Galea recorded and broadcast a Facebook Live video. This broadcast shows his actions leading up to the tragic murder of Brittany Southwell. <laughs> I have no problem. Baby, stop. Okay, Ashley, stand on. Can... Hell, share with me. That don't fuck around. Mm. I almost want to shot. Almost, almost. Stop. But almost isn't enough, right? There's a cop on Oh, there's a cop on I'm so scared. What's up? What's up, live? Can someone talk to me? All right, who wants some beef? All right, if there's just one of you, then I'll fight you. But if there's more than one, what's up? What's up? <laughs> I'm crazy. Guarantee. Guarantee crazy. <laughs> I know where they are. Who? I know where they are. Who? Who, Noah? Let's go. We're going to go find Noah. There's my whip. There's my... I'm a pot right now. in the car. No. Oh, I just tried to pop a shot with safety. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> there was cows right there! Alright, let's I'm gonna go find my little baby bro and see who's gonna threaten me. You wanna see? Let's see who's threatening me. What she Anthony Gelia was arrested on November 8, 2016, the same night of the shooting. A Michigan police trooper and a Columbia Township police officer stopped him while he was riding in a white sport utility vehicle that matched the description seen leaving the scene. J-O-E. J-O-E. S-P-H. S-P-H. N-Y-S-T. G-E-L-I-A. G-E-L-I-A. How do you pronounce it? Gelia. Gelia. During the interrogation, Anthony was advised of his rights. Okay. The, the above statements of my rights have been read and explained to me. I've had the opportunity to ask questions concerning my rights, and I now fully understand what my rights are. I wish to answer questions or to make a statement without first consulting the lawyer or having, without having a lawyer present during the question. I waive my rights to remain silent and to, to the presence of the lawyer at this time, and I wish to state no promise that the threats have been made to me against me or any other. I'm not threatening you. You understand that? Yep. You want to sign here? Uh, Chris, your name, how are you signing it? How old are you? 19. 19? All right, tell me why you're here. Uh, I was really, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, don't waste my time, please. Yeah, yeah. I mean, give me some respect here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got a job to do. I'm asking what happened tonight. Drunk up my ass. I don't ever drink. Anthony told the detective that he was drunk and no recollection of what had happened. He named two people with him at the time of the arrests, Ashley Nicole Boardman and Amber Steger. Ashley Nicole Boardman. Okay. Who's that? Um, the girl, the bigger girl that was in the car. Oh, with I mean, I don't know nothing that's going on. So I don't know names and I don't know anything like that. So, okay, they, they well, call me she's on felony probation. Okay. Boardman? Yeah. Um, and my girlfriend Amber, she had nothing to do with nothing. Amber then? Amber, um, Sager. Sager, S-A-G-E-R. G-E-R? She had nothing to do with it. Okay. Just be honest. It's gonna, it's gonna look better for you, being honest, than just trying to beat her on a bush, because I'm gonna get a hold of every single person involved. 
I'm going to talk to them, and they're going to lay the story out regardless. Hey, I'm not going to lie to you. Amber, I love why, did, why did you guys go there to do that? Up on Jefferson Street. Okay, we went to the um, Pump Tanner place on Web Road. On Web Road? Yeah, Web. Okay. Well, um, for some reason, I, I got a really fan of Pine UV Blue. Okay. That I probably chugged three smeared off. The yellow, the yellow kind, I don't know what kind it is. The bottles? Yeah, the, um, they're like that big glass bottle. Okay. Well, I don't drink that often because I'm usually working my ass off. Mm-hmm. But, um, my mom kicked me out of the house and kept my ass. Hey. No, no. It's been a while. Okay. She kicked me out of the house and, and left, uh, let my ex live there. After I paid her a hundred dollars, mm -hmm. just recently, she kicked me out and let my, or let my ex live there. Who's your ex? Amber, um, Uphold. I think she's still married. She lied to me. That's why we broke up. Amber upholds your ex? Yeah. Okay. So she let you, she kicked you out and let your ex live there? Yeah. For a hundred bucks? Well, I paid a hundred bucks before I left. Okay. But I paid more since then. Nothing's on record because my mom, I trusted okay. her. Yeah. Well, um, I finally decided to just say, screw it, I left. Uh -huh. Went on my own. Um, I've still been working and all that, but I've been, I have ODD mm -hmm. and I'm on Social Security because I do have a lot of mental problems. Okay. I do have anger issues. <laughs> well, um, take me back again. She pulls up. You guys first meet up at your house? I'm trying to get this. No, 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 no. We've been, we've been hanging out for a while because my mom kicked me out and left my ex. Oh, so you've been, you've been with, you've been with, uh, her for a while then. Ashley? Yes. Well, it was me and Amber. Then Ashley said, hey, since your mom kicked me out, or kicked you out, you can live with me and my, or me and my sister for a little bit. So you living with Ashley? No, I was living with Lindsay Nicole Boardman. Or, I mean, no, Lindsay something Boardman. Where's that at? Um, Ridgewood Vista. Okay. Okay. So you're staying with Lindsay Boardman. Is Ashley staying there too? Yeah. Okay. That's her, that's her, um, sister. Sister, yeah. So you guys, all three of you are there. Is Amber staying there? Yeah, Amber was staying there with Amber you. staying there too. Yeah. Um, and Ashley Boardman and Noah broke up, correct? Yeah. Okay, why'd they break up? Noah, um, basically left her. Okay. But that was no reason why I stayed with her. The reason why I stayed with her mm -hmm. is because my brother left her and, uh, left her out to hang, basically. I mean, they were with each other for a year, and me and her have always been friends. Mm -hmm. We weren't messing around or nothing because I had my girlfriend with me, Amber. So we were just friends. Well, she, my mom kicked me out at the same time, so I said, screw it, you know what, I'll leave. You know, I, even though I paid her rent, I was like, I'm, I'm not going to try to, uh, uh, make her evict me or nothing. I said, screw it, I'll just leave. It's my mom. I figured it for problems. Okay. So, um, we went to, uh, Lindsay's, and I paid her money, and Ashley paid her money for us to stay there till at least Sunday. Okay. Well, um, when we left, that's tonight. As the interrogation progresses, Anthony told the detective that Ashley Boardman was dumped by his brother Noah and he felt bad for her. He even shared this thought to his father. He then said that Ashley was the one driving the vehicle, persuaded him to drink, look for his brother Noah and brought them to a house where Noah was staying. Anthony at that time wanted to confront his brother Noah. Once I went in there, or once she went in there, I was sitting in the car with Amber drinking. Okay. And, uh, she got out. Anthony said once they arrive in a location where Ashley said that his brother Noah was staying, Ashley get out of the car and he followed her. Anthony admitted that he kicked the door to open. I got out of the car, kicked him. Basically, do you have the gun in your hand when you go in? I have the gun right, right in here. Right in there? Okay. Is it the, the one the troopers got? Or the, the nine mil? Yeah. 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 I saw it. So. Yeah. Anyways, let's back up. You kick it in. You have the gun in your waistband. Uh -huh. um, you go in first. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then who's behind you? Ashley? Corbin? 
She said, Honestly, I wasn't paying attention. I just, she, I don't know. She said, let, all I know is Ashley said, let's go in there and see what's going on. That's what, exactly what she said. Let's go in there and see what's going on. Okay. So, basically when I went in there, I kicked the door open. It took me three tries. Because okay. I was drunk and, you know. Okay. Well, it makes me sick. Because my little bro was in there. So your little brother Nick's in there? No. Noah's in there. Noah's, Noah's brother. Yeah. So he's in there. Who's he with? I didn't. I know it's hard. Let's, let's, man to man. I know, I know, I know you're a pretty strong little guy. I can already tell. Man to man is hard. But you need to get it out. And, you know, we've all made bad decisions. Yeah, but I made it dumb. Detective told Anthony that his going to a tough time of his life. He needs to get it off his chest for him to feel much better. He needs to tell them the truth what happened in that house. At this time, Anthony was visibly upset and crying. When I went in that house, I didn't intend on hurting anybody. And I didn't know what I was doing because I was so intoxicated. Intoxicated. I even had, I went on live on Facebook. I don't know, man. I, I'm a dumb image. So I should be acting older than I am. Oh, you're working your ass off. You're, you're mature, though. I am mature, but I do dumb. I've been, I've seen a lot more than you think. I ain't just some Jackson piece of trash. No, you're not. You're not. You're not. I, I can relate. I'm a country guy too, like fishing, a good old boy likes hunting. Dude, where's my friends all we do? Anthony says he made a mistake, and it will change his life forever. He asks for his brother Noah conditions. He still believes that Noah was in that house. How do you guys not know my brother's all right? Because I get called in from home, okay? Can I tell you if your brother's okay or not once I find out? Yes, I can. Okay? So that's kind of where I'm at, okay? Dude, my brother's my life, man. He's my little baby bro. Okay. Where was he at in there? I don't know. I didn't see him. Okay. Dude, so, I, I don't know what I did. Okay, so you go in there. You have the gun. Okay. You know what you did because you're telling me I made a bad choice. I do know what I did. I kicked in the door and that's all I remember. Okay. And he had a gun. Yeah, and I do remember popping a shot at the floor. And that's all I remember. Okay. Where, where was that in the house where he popped? Is there going to be a bullet hole? I got to go look at the scene. Make well, sure it matches up. All right, I had, you know how a 9 millimeter only those 12 shots, right? Yes. Well, I put 12 shots in the chamber, cocked it, put another one in, so like 13. 13 total. Yeah. Okay. Do you think when you shot, you could have hit somebody else? Honestly, yes. Okay. Who was that? I wasn't aiming at anybody. Who did you see in there? A big dude with tattoos. A big dude with tattoos? Is that your brother? No, 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 no. My brother's smarter than me. Okay. I didn't see my brother at all. Okay. I seen just one dude. I went downstairs. And I don't even remember what the place looked like. I went downstairs. The dude, uh... All I seen the dude do is shut the door. And then... When he shut the door, I took a shot at the door, but I did it to the left. Okay. When I shot the door, when I shot the door, I shot it at the left. Cause when he shut the door, he seen you with the gun. He shut the door. Well, at first he tried to come at me, but when he when he when he seen the gun, he took off. Okay. And then um, I shot the left side of the door, the very left side of the door. I think, or something, I don't, I wouldn't be able to know unless okay. I've seen it, but oh, I shut the very left side of the door, but I wasn't aiming at anybody, because I could have killed everybody in the house if I wanted to, mm -hmm. because there was a girl, and then when I kicked open the door, the girl, the girl, I think her name was Anastasia. Anastasia? Yeah. Okay. So there's an Anastasia there. What's her last name? How do you know her? Oh, I, I don't know her. You don't know her? No. It's I, I, Ashley. 
Ashley? Ashley knows who... Ashley is majorly obsessed with my little brother. Okay. Ashley... Borden. Borden. Well, when I got drunk, Ashley was just constantly talking. Let's go over there. Let's go over there. Let's go over there. Okay. So, let me get this right. Just listen to what you're saying is that Ashley is upset with... Uh, you're or obsessed with Noah. Right. Oh, yeah, majorly, majorly. Noah's over there, okay, with another girl, and I'm guessing that's why Ashley wants to go over there, correct? Is that a fair statement? Yeah, but I didn't even know where the place was located. No, but she does. Oh, I, I didn't even know how she knew. Okay. It was just crazy. She's like, Wait. she just said, let's see if they're there. Okay. Well, well, not well sure. obviously, somebody knows where they are. Yeah. You just don't pick up the house on the city of Jackson. Well, yeah, but I don't know how she knew. No. It was crazy. Okay. So you go in there, you kick the door in. Obviously, you, you to kick the door in to go in. There's well, I knocked out. first. Okay. I did knock. You knock, you kick the door in. Okay, because nobody's coming to the door, right? Well, all I heard was, oh, shit. Okay. And who said that? Somebody from inside? I think my ex. So your ex, which is? Amber, uh, I don't know. She lied to me. Amber Uphold. Yeah. Okay. Amber Uphold, because she told me her name was Amber White, and then I figured out she was, she was married, so I... Picture. So, so she said, "Oh shit! You think it's your ex? You go in, okay? You said you go down the basement right away. No, I, I kicked the door open, the front door. Yeah, I kicked the door open, and then uh, basically, basically I saw Amber run downstairs, and I didn't see anybody else." So I went down the stairs to talk to Amber. Okay. Amber tried grabbing the gun from me. Okay. So I went like this. Like, I had the gun in this hand. I pushed her off the gun just so she wouldn't have the gun because I don't trust her. So I pushed her off the gun. And then... Um, I seen the big dude shut the door. I didn't know if he had a gun. Because this Anastasia girl threatened... Um, um, with, I don't know, three different Mexican dude names. Well, when she threatened me with them names, I figured that dude was the dude that she threatened me with. So, um, I didn't know if he had a gun or not. Anthony took the shot, he said, due to ignorance. And he might probably spend 20 years in prison. Ignorance? Ignorance? Pure ignorance. Scare somebody? Dude, I'm... I don't, dude, I'm probably going to go for... Polonius. Polonius assault? Probably. Of our... <laughs> when I was 16 years old, they got the... Well, that's... Your 16-year-old stuff goes away. Okay? I don't know, dude. I just need to know the truth, because I'm getting bits and bits. Well, well, I mean, I'm giving you the truth. I'm not lying to you. Okay. I'm bullshit. So after you take the shot into the door of the bedroom, okay? You don't know if you hit anybody, right? Oh, no, I... Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Did anybody scream? Did anybody holler? Like, did it sound like you got hit? No. Okay, did you see anybody hit? No. Okay, and you said Ashley's in there with you. Ashley Boardman. So they all came. I was only paying attention to me. To you. But I think Ashley was right behind me. Okay. Right behind me. Okay. Okay. My girlfriend, I think, stayed in the car. Okay. So you go in there, take a shot, you're not sure if you hit anybody. How many times did you shoot inside? So I'm going to find the cases, that's why I am. Oh, yeah, I know you guys are going to figure it all out either way, so... That's why I, that's why I yeah, ask. Yeah, probably... Just get it off your chest, you're going to feel a lot better. Well, I mean, I'm going to try to be sincere, but I really don't know. I was intoxicated. Okay. Bad. Okay. Um, can you guys, like, find my videos that I deleted? I it was all on Facebook. camera. Is that on Facebook? Oh, it's all on camera. Okay. You have a phone? Yeah, Which yeah, you phone? guys probably have it. Is it in the cover? Yeah, it was in the car. Okay. Is it an Apple, Droid, what? No, it's an Android. Android, do you have a password to it? Um, there's no password. No password? Okay. What color is it? Oh, uh, blue. It's got a blue case on it anyway. It's gray without the case. Blue case, okay. Why we're kicking doors in? Why we're pulling guns? Just be straight. What was it all over? I got really drunk off my ass. I already, I already know that. And Ashley... Agging me. Boardman? And, yeah, agging me. She wanted you to go over there because she is obsessed with Noah. 
a tech bad. Did she, did, she, did she tell you to take the gun with you? No, she didn't say none of that. Okay. So she she's obsessed with Noah. She wants you to go over there for what reason? I don't know. She just, we went and got alcohol, and then she just showed up there. So who's Brittany? Brittany? Yes. Brittany? I don't know Brittany any. Caldwell? Caldwell. That lives in there? I have no clue who that is, honestly. Brittany Southwell was living in the house that Anthony kicked and opened fires with her three children and fiance. Brittany was actually holding her seven months old son when she was shot. Okay. And so you go in there, you shoot, because that, that's the girl that got hit. She got shot? In the shoulder. I don't know her. You don't know her? No. So she didn't hear her say, ow, ooh, anything like that? No. Did anybody say anything after you shot? No. Okay, then you turn around and you go out to the house. Honestly, dude, I, I don't know. So somebody in the house, somebody that was already in the house, gave us your name, car description, who you're with, and that's how they stopped you out on, was it? Was it well, yeah, it's probably my mom. No, I don't think it's your mom. It could have been my dad, it could have been my okay. brother. So anyways, after you shoot, what happens from there? You just got to turn around and go get out? Yeah, I got out of the house, yeah. Okay, so is now an asset ball behind you? Or, because you said she was standing behind you when you shot. Honestly, dude, basically what happened is there's little visions. All I know is, is I did shoot when I went down there. I shot at the basement door. Okay. And then I came upstairs, shot at the floor. Okay. And then, and then, uh, I was going to grab all my money out of my safe and head to Mexico. Because you know you're Mexico. I wanted to go. Okay. I wanted to leave. That's what I would do too. Well, and you gotta make it. You gotta make an effort, right? I don't feel good about it, dude. No, so, like, dude, honestly, where, I had the gun in my head the whole time. Where did they? Where did they stop you at? Wheaton. Was it Wheaton and yeah. Silver Lake Highway? Because I think they were waiting for you out there when they saw the when they. Oh yeah, because my mom snitched on me. Yeah. Is that what it was? Yeah. So they stop you. You have the gun to your car head because you knew you made a mistake. So obviously you knew you shot somebody. No, I didn't know I shot anybody. Okay. I'm too young to have kids, dude. I can hardly support myself. We're Jack here. This is not too young, man. <laughs> well, yeah, but... Uh... At this time, Anthony seemed to be relaxed. He even noticed a blood on his pants. Where'd that come from? What is it? Blood? I don't know if that's blood. Is that blood? It could have been for me working, maybe right there, yeah. but, you know, I hope it's not somebody I hurt. Yeah. All right. Hold tight. I'm going to be right back. Okay. okay, and uh, I'll be right back. Hey, bud, this is Detective Strauss. He got a chair. Okay, now, he's gonna come in here. He wants to talk to you for a second. He got a chance to talk to your friends over there. Okay, ready? Right. And he's gonna jive their story up with yours, kind of. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So he's a pretty good guy. Another detective entered and joined the interrogation of Anthony Gelia. Well, he didn't threaten me specifically. He threatened me on my phone, on my Facebook, and I was in the shower, and so was my girlfriend Amber. So it was me and Amber in the shower. Ashley Boardman picked up, supposedly, and said that he threatened to kill all of us. Okay. Basically, you know, because I'm going to protect did myself. You, did you tell one of those girls that you shot somebody in the head? Did I? That's what they're telling Detective Styles. They said on the way over from the house. I already know how you guys play your games. No, one, said, one said that. Which one said that? It was probably Ashley Boardman. I'm drunk. I don't know what I did. I kind of was, it was ignorant. I regret what I did. You know what? I'm going to have to do the time. I'm going to do whatever. Anthony, are you intoxicated right now? Yeah. Okay. I, I'm going to ask you, man. I, this first... I just I blew a breathalyzer, didn't I? Yeah. I mean, I regret what I did. I'll do the time kit. Dude, I'm, you know what? I'm I, I don't care. I don't know why I didn't, but I wish I did, because I would rather not be in here. I'd rather be in hell. Honestly. Hey, you don't know whose house that is. 
On March 21st, 2018, trial begins for case number 344130, People of Michigan versus Anthony Gilia. During the trial, a medical examiner said Southwell died from a bullet that entered her side and punctured her lungs. Jury came back with a guilty verdict. First degree premeditated murder, not guilty. And or, and or first degree felony murder, guilty. With respect to count number two, first degree home invasion, guilty. And count number three, felony firearm, guilty. Anthony Gellia, who was serving life without parole for fatally shooting a Jackson woman during a drunken home invasion broadcast live on Facebook, will stay in prison. The Michigan Court of Appeals declined for the second time to reverse the sentence of Anthony Gellia, who was sent to prison for life in 2018.